We started our project activities in Uganda in the year 1998, 1999, around that time. And at that time, microfinance was still a rather new phenomenon. And uh, there was a growing awareness among the donors and also among the national stakeholders here in the country that microfinance can't be left alone to itself. Uh, microfinance also needs to be put under the protection of the law one way or the other. So this is why our project at its initial stages was focusing on creating an adequate legal framework for microfinance. So we put over the years a large number of microfinance institutions under the supervision of Bank of Uganda, the central bank of the country, and in doing so the risk in the market has been reduced. That means now you can save with a microfinance institution and you know that your savings are protected by the law. And we are now, after 10 years, also getting into the issue of creating a deposit protection fund for microfinance savers. So this is where we're coming from. Adequate legal framework for microfinance for the sake of improving access to financial services for the poor. Um, I'm not going to bore you now with lots and lots of technical details uh, because we did a lot of work in terms of payment systems, bringing down the transaction costs in the market and so on and so forth. A lot of, I would say, solid work mainly with the Bank of Uganda to improve framework conditions in the financial sector. So having done that for, for a number of years, together with our funding source, the German Ministry of Foreign Cooperation and Economic Development, we also decided to set up another pillar of our work and that pillar was more focusing on the micro level, meaning to really go out there, reach out to the people and do more work on the ground. Huh? I think it was a very logical sequence of, of activities because you have to put into order you have to put in order the legal fr framework first before you can really go into, into, into capacity building. But now we are into capacity building, uh, trying to help small institutions in the countryside to deliver financial services to the poor on a sustainable basis.